you know, and this is Tiana Sermons, and we are reporting for Kids First. Today, we are here with Jermaine Harris, who plays Henry in the new upcoming film, The Map of Tiny Perfect Things, on Amazon Prime. Jermaine is best known for Mad About You and Now, Ballers, and The Map of Tiny Perfect Things. Thank you so much, Jermaine, for joining us today, and we are excited to get to know more about you. Hi, Jermaine. How are you? Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Okay. So what drew you to the role of Henry? Um, Knowing that he didn't know he was in the time loop. That's what I liked about it, because everyone else, well, essentially Mark and Margaret, uh, they know they're in it. But um, that's what mainly drew me, is that Henry didn't know he was in it, but he was completely content with where he was at. <laughs> like, he, he was probably fine. I'm good here. I'm chilling in my room. I'm playing my games. Don't nobody bother me. Mark, if you want to pull through, go. Cool. We chilling. But um, that's what mainly drew it to me. And then also, it kind of keeps Mark grounded. It was like, yeah, dude, like, I don't believe anything you're telling me. But if this is true, I'm going to tell you how it is. Okay. And uh, that's what mainly drew it to me. And just how cool he is as a person. You know, like, Henry's pretty cool. Yeah, definitely. Yes. So what do you think are the advantages and disadvantages of having infinite do-overs in life like the characters in this film? Uh, well, the advantage is you know what's going to happen. You know what's going to happen the next day. Uh, you have the opportunity to take advantage of that and try something new every single day. Uh, the disadvantage is you can't progress past that. Or if anything, like you, if you're stuck in that and you know you can't get out, then like you never really get to see what happens after that, you know, because you're starting all over again. And it also it kind of makes you crazy. It gets kind of crazy. It's doing the same thing over and over again. You know, you can only have so many things you can think of by yourself before figuring out, like, I think I've tried everything. And you kind of can't ask anybody else because nobody else knows about it but you. So uh, I feel like that's probably the main disadvantage or like the biggest disadvantage and then advantage of having infinite time. That's cool. Okay, so I'm sure you have a lot of stories from set. So is there anything funny that you can share with us? Uh, yeah, there is. Um, there's this one time we were playing heads up in Catherine's trailer and it was, playing with games with Catherine can get so intense because she's very competitive as it is. And we were trying to guess these dang things and she was just getting so frustrated with us playing this game. And there was another time we went to this cafe and we tried to get, we were trying to order and Catherine was just so adamant on me ordering an entire loaf of bread for God knows what reason. Who needs an entire loaf of bread if I just want one sandwich? I don't know. I don't even think she knows, but she made me do it. And she just would not let it go. So uh, that's probably one of some of the favorite moments that I have on set. Wow. So what do you think was your favorite scene to shoot in this film? Um, it's for sure, I think the last scene. Uh, when, when, when she comes through, when Margaret comes through and we're actually facing this and we're actually talking things out and some things that pop up, I'm not going to say too much, but there's a lot of things that have become realized at that moment. And it's an aha moment essentially for both people. And that's probably one of my favorite scenes that I've shot, aside from shooting with, with, with Kyle. But um, yeah, that's probably one of my favorite ones. Yeah, that's amazing. Well, thank you so much for letting us talk to you today. Thanks for having me, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jermaine Harris, for your time. Make sure to check out the map of Tiny Perfect Things coming out on Amazon Prime February 12th. Make sure to like and subscribe so that you never miss another one of our videos. Bye. Bye.